Okay, welcome to my channel. I am the Model Citizen, and today I'm going to show you how to install um, T2 Linux on my PlayStation 3. Uh, there she is. <laughs> Let's switch over to my HDMI input. There. Okay. Uh, well, first things first, let's switch over to Linux. Under System Settings. And change it to Other OS. And Reboot. Alright, now the PlayStation 3 is going to load its uh, bootloader, Pettit Boot. Now what Pettit Boot does is it uh, scans all the devices that it can find looking for uh, certain config files. And when it finds them, it displays the contents of those config files. Um, so that's what all these selections are. That will be relevant in in a short time. Uh, I'm going to boot into Fedora first um, because I want to show, I want access to a uh, web browser. I want to show you um, the T2 uh, website um, which has uh, obviously it has more information on the, uh, on the, on the distro. Okay, I'm going to log in. And start my window manager. Open open box. <clears throat> okay, this is my uh, graphical desktop on my PS3. Um, yeah, let me start uh, Firefox and show you the T2 Linux website. It's t2sde.org. Um, and here's what it says. It says uh, T2 SDE is not just a regular Linux distribution. It is a flexible open source system development environment or distribution build kit. Uh, others might name it a meta distribution. So kind of like uh, Gen2. Gen2 is a, is a meta distribution. Uh, T2 allows the creation of custom distributions with state-of-the-art technology, up-to-date packages, integrated support for cross-compilation. So, um, yeah, this is a distribution that uh, happens to uh, install onto the PlayStation 3. And I actually have a, a web page for the PS3 here some information. Uh, given the historically strong PowerPC support in T2 as a primary platform, expanding the support to also cover the cell-based PlayStation 3 from Sony was natural development. Especially considering the effort Sony puts into promoting the PlayStation 3 as open systems, providing source-level Linux patches. Yeah, that's true. Uh, in the early days of the PS3, uh, Sony was contributing to Linux. Um, I think they contributed the uh, Linux drivers to the uh, kernel, um, you know, for the uh, network card and uh, the VRAM and um, the video card and all that, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, so um, there's some information here on uh, the PlayStation 3. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. Uh, now, uh, I should show you the uh, packages. There's a website, there's a web page here that uh, actually lists all the packages that are available uh, for, for the distro. 
It's a very, uh, very large web page, very long. But if you look through it, um, you know, it's a pretty complete, uh, complete distribution if you look at it this way. You know, uh, GNOME is available if you want GNOME. Um, I've seen Openbox in here, Caden Live, that's a, um, that's a video imaging, or, uh, editing, um, program. Um, yeah, there's different desktops and desktop environments available like, um, XFCE, um, you can install, or you can just install like a, a window manager like, like I use, um. Uh, open boxes is on this list too. So, oh look, I saw Nvidia drivers. Yeah, how about that? So yeah, uh, if you you know to look at this list, it seems like a pretty complete package. Uh, you could put together a pretty uh, uh, a pretty nice little distribution for yourself. Um, you know, if you can get it to work. <laughs> um, so uh, if you're wondering where to download. Uh, where to download the ISO, you go to, oh, first let me show you, this is the documentation. Documentation is available as a PDF or HTML web page. Um, <clears throat> I actually, uh, I have the T2 handbook right here. This is the documentation. Um, I've, I've read a good portion of it. Um, I haven't read the whole thing. I'll, I'll get to it. Um, and to download um, a binary uh, installable uh, image for T2, you go here uh, under 2021. The one that we're going to install for the on the uh, PS3 is this guy here t2 21.5 ppc 6432 looks like it comes with xorg so that's x windows and gcc so obviously i've already downloaded this file um but you would want to download it and uh you know burn the image to a um to a cd or a dvd um, I actually already did that, so let me show you the CD. The CD is already in the PS3, and there's the contents of the image. Um, I would quickly call your attention to uh, this file right here under etc slash kboot.conf. This is the file that um, Pettit Boot is going to uh, used to configure its boot menu. So this is why it's going to offer um, two uh, versions of the install, but they're obviously both the same. They're equivalent. Um, this line here, this is a kernel um, like boot argument. What this does on the PS3 is this sets your uh, output resolution. Uh, and if you change this number, it changes the resolution uh, that the PS3 will use. This number 13 here corresponds to a very high resolution. Uh, so high, in fact, it's higher than, um, it's a little bit like higher than uh, HD 1080. Um, and if I leave this the way it is, then my uh, capture card is not going to like it. And we're going to get a black screen. So when uh, when re when after I reboot, uh, I'm going to edit the kernel arguments and change that number so that um, you know the display resolution will uh, not break my um, my capturing setup. <laughs> so um, one last thing uh, I'll show you before uh, before we uh, reboot is. I'm going to run blkid. Uh, crap, you know what? Let's make that full screen. 
Okay, I'm going to run blkid. Now, <clears throat> these are the uh, drives connected to my system. Uh, this one here, this is my external um, uh, SSD that I have uh, plugged into the PS3's um, uh, USB, so that's external. This is the um, PS3 VRAM, that's the video RAM. I'm using that as swap space, so you can disregard that one. These top three here, these are the three partitions on my uh, PS3's uh, hard drive. Um, now this second partition, I made this one um, when I first installed uh, this Fedora. Um, and specifically for this purpose, so that I would have a place to install a uh, alternative operating system uh, if I wanted to mess around with, um, you know, mess around with uh, other operating systems. So uh, that's that's the drive. It's a twenty gigabyte um, partition, and we're going to install T uh, two there. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and reboot the PS three. Okay, um, now here's the two install options that are on the uh, that are on the DVD in the PS3. Uh, so I'm going to edit the um, I'm going to edit the arguments here and change number thirteen to one six six nine. This number one six six nine that'll give you normal uh, full uh, HD resolution. That uh, is agreeable to capture cards. <laughs> so, okay, I'll go ahead and uh, boot the install. Okay, here we just hit enter. Okay. And here we type install. And okay. Now there's a device here, PS3DA. Normally that's my hard drive. Like in other distributions, that would be considered my hard drive. But for some reason, um, T2 um, maps my... PS3 hard drive as PS3 DD. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to use to install um, uh, T2 onto. Here's my uh, 20 gigabyte uh, partition that I just uh, showed you. I'm going to select that. Uh, go to uh, create file system. I'm going to pick ext3 and hit yes to proceed. Okay, now it's basically it's just formatting the um, it's formatting the partition. And we're going to mount that as root, so just hit enter. Now I also have this 512 megabyte uh, partition uh, on my hard drive as, as swap space, so we're going to also use that as swap space. Now my two distros um, on my PS3, T2 and Fedora, uh, can share the same swap space. So that's efficient. OK, now we're going to go down to install the system. And all this is good, so just hit uh, the recommended option. 
and we're going to do a full install the recommended option and yes okay now the um i guess the packages that make up uh this distribution uh, t2 are being copied over to the hard drive now and I know the font's really small there's nothing I can really do about that at the moment but um, if you can check out some of the um, the version numbers of these packages that are being installed here and bear in mind that they're being installed onto uh, a what 15 year old game console <laughs> the ps3 these packages are very new um, for example GCC uh, version 11.1 .1 just installed um, for comparison uh, the GCC that I have running on my uh, Fedora partition my Fedora 12 <coughs> that's uh, GCC version 4.4.4 .4 .4. So yeah, eleven dot one is quite an upgrade. This is a um, this this has basically a brand new um, version of GCC. Um, oh, look right there! Uh, it's installing the kernel, um, Linux uh, five dot twelve dot four. Um, for comparison, um my laptop um, computer which I just updated you know like yesterday um, is running kernel 5.16 dot something so yeah 5.12 is uh, uh, very respectably modern <laughs> it's also basically um, brand spanking new um, it's really it's really kind of miraculous to see um, a PlayStation 3 running such a uh, such a, a late model kernel. <laughs> I mean, when you consider that um, my other distro on this PS3 uh, Fedora, uh, I generally run that on kernel uh, 2.6.32. Um, so yeah, it's uh, this is a significant, uh, significantly newer uh, version of the Linux kernel that um, will be running here in T2. Now, if you keep watching, you'll see um, uh, a lot of libraries here are being installed for uh, graphical um, applications graphical environment um, and you're also going to see in a moment um, all the uh, X and X window uh, packages being installed so uh, this uh, this installation here this does come with um, a graphical uh, capability um, and it comes with a, uh, a window manager um, that uh, it's not um, it's not open box it's um, less tiff or something like that um, it also comes with uh, TWM that's uh, uh, Tom's window manager um, which is the only one <clears throat> the only one so far that I've gotten to boot or gotten to uh, display um, but it's you know TWM is kind of like a default X window minute manager it's not really meant to you know do work in it's kind of for testing debugging anyway um, now it's telling us our FS tab file is uh, gonna look like that so that's fine and I'm going to go all the way down and select uh, US for a keyboard okay root password And I'm going to select America. And let me find 
New York. Uh, and hit enter. Um, I'm gonna look for uh, English. English for USA. There it is. Okay, it's asking us if we want to um, configure Grub. Uh, the PS3 does not use Grub, so I'm going to say no. And this is still the Grub configuration screen, so I'm just going to hit back. Now it's asking us to configure Kboot, and we're going to say yes to, to Kboot. Um, there's what our um, config file is going to look like. Again, I have to get rid of that <clears throat> that number 13 uh, because that won't display on my uh, capture card. So I'm going to go to edit the file really quick. And this is Vim editor, so you have to hit I in order to go to insert mode. Okay, I'm going to change that 13 to... 1669 and hit escape colon WQ to save and exit okay uh, kboot is configured Okay, now here is the like generic configuration screen. Um, basically, anything that we haven't configured yet, we can do that now. So, um, I'm actually going to set my console screen font. I'm going to set the font to be bigger. Um, let's see, the biggest one that... Uh, well, let's try this one. ISO... 01, 12 by 22. That's better, right? That's easier to read, I guess. Uh, I wish it didn't have serifs, though. I hate serifs. Anyway. Um, okay, yeah, the rest of this is fine. Uh, I'm going to leave the kernel drivers alone. Network configuration. We want to turn on the network. So hit yes. DHCP is fine. Um, I'm not going to bother editing my hosts file right now. I can do that later. Um, so let's restart network init script and see if see if the network network turns on. Okay, good. I guess our network works. That's very good. Hit back. Uh, Mac Macintosh mouse emulation. I guess I can disable this. Turn that off. Um, configure run levels. Yeah, I can turn, turn off all these run levels. Okay, hit back. Uh, SSH, we definitely want to have SSH working, so let's uh, create a uh, key pair. <laughs> and configure run levels. It's going to be 3, 4, and 5. Same as the network. I guess we can start it. Okay. Uh, what was my network um, configuration run levels? Should be 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, okay, good. Um, where were we? Uh, X11 configuration. Uh, I guess run automated X configure. Okay. Run level 5, we'll use a display manager, I guess. Um, and less TIFF, MWM, is going to be the default window manager. Yeah, there is one 
installed here and it's not TWM. It's not Tom's window manager. I just haven't seen it yet. Anyway, I'm not going to edit these files. So don't need to set up grub. We already set up kboot and let's check our run level configuration. Um, keyboard setup. That's our system logger. <coughs> a network. I'm going to turn on NetFS in 3, 4, and 5 because I use a, um, a network NFS drive. Um, I think that's an NFS server right there. KNFSD. Um, I think the rest of this I'll just leave alone. Yeah, it's fine. System init configuration. I guess at first I'm going to want the uh, system to boot into level 3. Normal operation. That should be good. Okay, I'm going to exit. Uh, do you want to unmount and reboot? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Reboot. Okay, now... Um, you'll get to see uh, a, th a thoroughly modern uh, distribution of uh, Linux T2 uh, booting on my uh, ancient uh, fat uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, see right here, there's a brand new uh, boot option uh, for T2 SDE. Uh, we're going to select that one. Notice that the... Um, Screen mode is the what I changed it to, 1669, so that's good. Uh, okay, got to log in. Uh, we only have a root account, so root. Um, okay, first thing, let me see if the eject utility is installed. I can eject the, um, the DVD. Yep, eject is installed. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Um, I guess uh, really quick, let me show you how to create or how I create um, a user account. Um, see, I like to um, like micromanage my user account creation and make sure that I um, set myself as uh, ID number one thousand. So that way, my other computers on the network will still recognize me. Um, and the way that I do that is by running a group ad uh, first and give it the option G. This is the group number. should be 1000, uh, at least for me on my network. Um, and the name is MCPS3. And that's going to be the same as my username. So user add main group is going to be MCPS3, which we just created. Um, I'm also going to add myself to the wheel group in case I figure out how to get um, sudo installed. Because, uh, by the way, no, sudo is not installed. So if you make a user account, then every time you want to... Um, uh, use it as root, then you have to actually switch users to root because uh, there's no sudo. <laughs> anyway, um, hit M for make a home directory. S for my shell is bin bash. Uh, U is my user number, so 1000. And MCPS3 is my name. Now we have to set a password for 
MC PS3. Okay, I can log out now and log back in as MC PS3. All right, now I'm logged in as MCPS3. <laughs> um, so we create a user account. Um, I guess that's probably about where I'm going to leave it for today. Um, I need to uh, tinker with this um, distro a little bit more. I need to uh, kind of... Um, you know, try and figure out, uh, you know, if there's any form of package management or um, if there's, uh, you know, if I can get it to um, actually build a, you know, a copy of itself, which is what I think you're supposed to do. Um, yeah, I will keep you posted and let you know um, my progress. Uh, if, if you installed um, T2 onto your PS3, then you should uh, leave your comments in the comments area and let us know uh, how's, it, how's that going. Okay, if you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to do that now. Um, and I guess that's it for today. I hope you learned something. Um, have a, a nice day.